these are uh, uh, very good uh, slides, by the way. It is going to give you the, give you the information about uh, how you're going to do the troubleshooting in your production environment. And these are real case studies, by the way. So let's read. And this is very in uh, simple plain English. We have multiple, multiple telephone lines are coming to your IT closet where you are planning to install a new DSL model. The line man confirmed the line man basically may, in your case, maybe it's from AT&T service provider uh, who enabled the internet connectivity in one of your telephone cables. Now he wants you to connect the DSL model by clipping RJ11 connector to the right cable. Which proper tool you will use to find that particular cable to connect with model? So if I give you these choices, so basically in, uh, if I can demonstrate, because I'm sure you didn't get this, what I'm trying to say. If I go to the whiteboard and illustrate what I'm trying to say, you have office, not the office, but your organization. The name ABC. You have somewhere IT closet in your office or uh, in your organization. Then we have the demarcation point. This is also come under the technical vocabulary. Demarcation point. If somebody is saying kindly go to your demarcation point, it means he is talking about the segregation point from your organization to your ISP. So this thing is segregating your organization versus ISP. So that thing is called demarcation point. And most of the cabling is coming through your demarcation point from your ISP, let's say. And we have multiple line uh, cables that going through some, through some ceiling all the way to your IT closets. And let's suppose we have uh, 100 cables. Then the line man, this is line man, by the way, he enabled internet connectivity of one of your cables. You are here in your IT closet. He made a call to you saying, I have enabled internet connectivity of one of your cable. Now this is your headache to find which cable is that one. So I hope you get my analogy here. So let's go back to the slide. So this is what I'm trying to explain here. Uh, multiple uh, cab cables are coming to your IT closet. Now you have to identify that cable. Which proper tool are you going to use to identify? Please tell me. Number two, I think it's called terminal. Yes. Okay, so number two. This is from who? Haifa? Yes, yes. I choose the same. Okay, the crystal. Okay, tell me, crystal. Yes, the prone and the tune and prone. Exactly, you are very right. You will connect this end to the demarcation point and plug RJ11 connector because I'm talking about DSL model. I'm talking about RJ11. So this thing has uh, RJ45 as well as RJ11. So you will plug one end to the RJ11. You will switch on this device and then you will take this machine or whatever you could want to name it, the other end of this, uh, this device, you can go into the IT closet and you will try to place this thing on these cable one by one and you will listen the sound. And, uh, you know, for uh, if it is not connected or that this device, is, uh, this cable does not have this uh, connectivity with this one, 
you will hear a different noise but as soon as you will reach let's suppose this is the one uh, which is uh, connected with this device as soon as you, you will uh, bring this device near to this cable you will see a very different kind of noise which is which will identify that this is the one cable that you are looking for okay You just received a call from one of your employee complaining about the internet connectivity issue. You want, uh, you went to his office. You can see the cable is attached to his computer properly, but there is no any link activity on the network interface card. All other employee have no connectivity issue. Seems like a cable issue. Which proper tool are you going to use to check the cable is damaged or not? Yes. Right. I, I don't know what it's called, but number one. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, this is yeah. Sorry, Crystal, I didn't hear. I was saying it's the cable tester number one. Me too, actually. exactly, exactly. Excellent. So, you familiar with these other tools as well? Uh, I think one of them is called the punch tool, and I forgot the name of the other one, but they are two. This one is punch tool. And then crimp, crimper? This crimping tool. C R I M P I N G crimping tool. Okay. Now let's move. Uh, and this is going to be very simple. Two hosts cannot reach each other. What are the main steps you're going to take? So, what are the steps? Let's suppose. Uh, there is some issue here, but you don't know about this. You are sitting here as a network IT administrator and you want to reach this computer. What are the things or steps you're going to take? Crystal, do you mind if I answer or would you like to answer? You can answer. Um, I was going to say, uh, do you want me to start from like basic? Like first thing I'll do ping. Okay. 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 And then no. trace route. Exactly, that's it. That was the whole point of this creating this slide. So, with first thing, uh, tool you are gonna use ping, which we have already gone a lot in detail, and then, uh, sorry, tracer, tracer, yeah. Ping will tell the reachability, which is failing. The tracer will tell how far I can reach. Okay, a new Cisco switch device just arrived to your office. Your boss wants its basic provisioning. What kind of cable are you gonna use? Yes. Number two, the console cable. Okay. How about you, Hive? I agree. This one? Yes. Yes, you are right. Okay. What is this cable then? G45. I didn't hear. Sorry. Uh, I think she said RG45. I agree. RG45 is a connector. But what this cable will be called? Oh, uh, cross whatever. Crossover. No. They have standards. Could be CAT5. Oh, yeah, cat five, could cat be five cat e. six, could be cat seven. And by the way, seven is uh, basically coming with 10,000 gig MBPS, sorry, which is 10 gig. Okay, so just giving you a, a flyby information. Seven is giving 10 gig bandwidth these days. And this is the most latest cable these days. We have other CAT5, CAT6, CAT6 e which support like this one is supporting uh, 10 MBBS. Then we have 100 MBBS, 
hundred base T as well. Okay. And how about this one? And this is obvious. What is this cable? Any idea? Fiber. Mm hmm. Okay, how are you? I don't know what it's called, but I think it's the one that we. I, I'm not good with cable names, by the way. Uh, okay, but the one that a, we use for. Uh, yeah, you are go going ahead. to learn. Okay, that's fine. You are going to learn uh, fiber optics in uh, in the same module which you are learning currently. Uh, you have so many labs as well uh, using the fiber optic. Oh yeah, I stopped at fiber optic. So yeah, it's just a fiber optic cable, and this is called basically a single mode. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is very simple. Uh, if you're uh, basically how you people creating diagrams, networking diagrams, what kind of software you are using? I think I've used the Cisco one before. I forgot its name now. Uh, it's a visual packet. Maybe. Packet ah, okay. The packet tracer is the application where you which is used for the simulation i am talking about yes. creating creating the topology for example if you want to send uh, the snapshot of your topology of your local area connection uh, where you're going to design that one by the way that's a common uh, real world ticket by vendors by managers hey can you can you give me a new topology or can you update the topology can you update diagram oh we got a new vendor can you create something for them quickly you will be doing this as a network engineer on a regular basis any idea okay no problem i will so click can, on this link yeah this, that link is pretty good it's like a web-based link you can use and you can create a lot of uh, different diagrams in there you know So link is available and uh, Danish can share this slide so uh, you can copy and paste this link. So can you see? Yes. Okay, so uh, this is the landing page and you are going to draw uh, your network topologies here. And this is uh, very simple. Uh, in a search shape, so you just type, for example, you are going to connect to computers, uh, type computers and hit it. And you will see, and just drag and drop these uh, devices. Okay. And then uh, let's suppose we have a switch inside. Uh, and then you can use, uh, let's see, if this one is okay. Then we have like the switch in the middle. And just I want to connect this with the cable. You can grab one end of this cable and connect with this one, while the other one uh, with this uh, with this switch in the same way. And it is not connecting with this one because this is the image. If I will use, let's suppose, uh, some other switch, and you can click on a more result to see some other options. Let's suppose uh, this is. Uh, very common representation of the switch. And just delete this one, select this one. As you can see, if you mouse over, you can do with this one. So this is how you are going to connect your piece of information one by one. With. So this is how you can create very quickly your topology. And if you move this one, you can see uh, your connections is not disconnecting so you can move anywhere wherever you want so see how quickly you can create your topology so i just added this as an add-on so you can have a better idea as a basic it network engineer at the beginner level if somebody asks you 
uh, to design the topology, uh, at least you, you should have a better idea uh, where to go and how to uh, create. And similarly, you can like drag and drop the routers. And we have so many options available in this.